know, there's a lot of balls to be juggled and when, who do we apply for money for and when do we apply it, et cetera. But basically we have to lay out the money first in each case and then get reimbursed. Unless the dorm authority of money comes in first, which is not likely, but when that comes in, we could spend that directly. Okay. So a lot of rules. We are yeah. live on Facebook. Okay. All right. Um, welcome to the uh, special meeting of the Rye Town Park Commission of 24 November, 2020. Um, do you want to do the pledge, guys, or shall we dispense? Or roll. Pardon me? Roll meeting. Roll the roll. Meeting. Meeting. The meeting is open. Commissioner Falanca. Here. Commissioner Selenitro. Here. Commissioner Rosenberg. Here. Here. Commissioner Hurd. On mute. Commissioner Hurd. She's on mute, Deb. Here, I'm here. Okay. Uh, Commissioner Cohn uh, appears to be absent. He, President yeah, Tuckman. Present. Okay, um, we have one item on this. Uh, uh, on the agenda for this special meeting. It's to uh, award a uh, construction, uh, to award the bid for the construction contract for the accessible pedestri uh, pedestrian ramps and pathway. Um, you've all seen the resolution it was on, last time it was pulled off. Uh, it was emailed to you and Debbie has it. I believe you have it on the new agenda. I, I do, and um, I have published it. I can also bring it up on the screen if you'd like. All right, you can bring it up just so everybody sees it. Okay. Um, the uh, can the the award is to Paladino Concrete Creations, which was actually the second low bidder, but the uh, the Low bidder uh, has been disqualified because of an incomplete submission. The difference between the low bidder and the uh, second low bidder was, I believe, $1,121 for the entire bid project, which is the, the ramps and alternate A1 of the pathways. Uh, alternate A1 was to do the pathways in asphalt the alternate A2 was to do them in concrete, which turned out to be far more expensive. So we awarded for alternate A1. And the total is uh, 505,154 for the required scope of work. Um, may I have a motion a second, please? I'll make a motion to approve the resolution. Second. Uh, any further discussion? Yeah, <clears throat> Debbie, um, I'm looking for our consultant's review memo and recommendation regarding the uh, uh, project. I don't see anything from Dolph. We need I to, sent we it to you yesterday. He actually, he, he actually did it on November 16th. James did. I emailed it to all of you yesterday. All right. I just and, and Gary, not a question, but more of a comment. Uh, there were 13 bidders on this project when I when I looked at it, and 14 difference from this price to the uh, number 13. There was a big spread in numbers, and this is a good bid. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. The, I mean, the the high bid was over eight hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. yeah. This is a good bid. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. And uh, you uh, can you put that up, Debbie? Can you put that memo up? I just I'm looking for. I saw a couple of stuff yesterday from the Tower Task Force. Um, I must have missed something. Nipa. Somebody's got it. Um, Gary, while you're doing whatever, or I have a question. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, okay. 
Okay, um, I'm going to try to get it so that it it all is on your screen. So let me know when you can see it. It's on, Debbie. Okay. Gary, I had one other question. I think there was a couple. Thank you. You're welcome. Sorry, I think there were a couple versions of the path. One of them was more in a more expensive plan for the path. That yeah, we that's had to Yes, I just said that. That's A2. A2. Sorry, yeah. and we're going with A1, right? We're going with A1, but at least a less expensive one. Yeah, OK, great. Thank you. Roll call. The, all right, the, the, let me just say, we received, the reason we could do this is that uh, we received approval, NEPA approval, um, yesterday from uh, the county. The county does the NEPA. And uh, it came in yesterday, uh, or, or uh, pardon me, on, on Friday, rather. <clears throat> so they gave us the go ahead. I think I sent an email to you all on that. And that's why we're able to do this. We're still actually waiting for DEC. All our papers are submitted, but they have been totally unresponsive. Uh, the State uh, Department of Environmental Conservation. <laughs> and I've written directly to the regional um, uh, administrator on that. Um, we are now scheduled to be before the Board of Architectural Review of the City of Rye on December the 14th. Um, we had hoped to be on November 30th, but um, uh, there was a delay. We, um, we were informed too late actually uh, to get our notices out. We have to notice all the neighbors two weeks before the, uh, the hearing. So that's going out uh, either tomorrow or Monday. Um, <clears throat> and um, the building permit has been applied for. That's why we're on the BAR. And hopefully we'll be getting into construction. <laughs> the only thing that is not done for which we've gotten grant money is the ticket booth. The ticket booth has been designed by uh, Lisa Easton it was actually the same ticket booth that she designed for um, uh, the last go round when Joe Carvin was the supervisor and they did the ramps, uh, but the rampids were rejected. Um, so that, that was a kind of a pre-existing design that we enlarged a bit so that the, the ticket booth itself is going to be of um, concrete slab covered with stucco to match the, um, uh, the, the architecture of the park with a, with a tile roof. And um, we're waiting for these bids to come in to see where they were before letting that bid because the, the ticket booth has to be placed on top of the ramp. But the ramps were designed to, um, with uh, anchors in place for the for the ticket booth itself. So <clears> that going out, uh, Lisa's on vacation this week and we'll be talking on Monday to determine, um, uh, you know, when we're gonna let that bid. Um, it, you know, and obviously um, I, I mentioned this to Benny, um, depending on the estimate, we don't need to go to public bid if it comes in at $35,000 or less. So we're considering sending it out to several bidders rather than advertising. I mean, how do all of you feel about that? Um, to, to send to the, uh, the people that have already bid on the ramps um, and maybe some others. Um, if it comes in under $35,000, we only need to do uh, three written bids. If it goes comes in over, then we have to go to a formal bid as we did the ramps. So does anybody have a feeling on that, Benny? Not good. Gary, before yes. you go on, do you want to do a roll call vote on the uh, resolution? That's a good idea. We were going to until we started having discussion and then the discussion got away with us. Yes, Debbie, please call the roll. Commissioner Palanca. Uh, uh, Fritz, you're on mute, but your mouth seemed to say yes. Yes. Commissioner Salonitro? Yes. Commissioner Rosenberg? Yes. Commissioner Hurd? Yes. <clears throat> President Zuckerman? Yes. Thank you. 
Motion passes uh, and the bid is awarded to Paladino uh, Creations, Co Paladino Concrete Creations. Um, may I have a motion to adjourn? I'll make the motion to adjourn. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. All in favor? Yes. Aye. 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 Happy Thanksgiving. Thanks, everybody. Happy Bye -bye. Thanksgiving. Aye. Anybody have any questions, feel free to call. Thank you. Okay.